City fights, man. Team Victory versus Black House. Cross training, cross paths. Now cross the ring. <laughs> <laughs> Inglewood versus Compton. Yeah. Call LAPD, guys, now. <laughs> this could get crazy. Here you go, fight fans, for number one, three. Two minute rounds at 145 pound weight division. Jonathan Garcia taking on Jonathan Harper. Here we go. Uh, he runs in a hard leg kick. Harper's very composed. Garcia looks a little uncomfortable in his movement. Yeah, he's stalking him now. He's looking for something down the middle. Garcia's balance doesn't really quite. Yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't look, look like it's there. Let's see, side kick to hit low. Oh no, his headgear. Chin snapped. strap, uh, the headgear. Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't look comfortable, man. He's he's uh he's disengaging a lot. Um, he's throwing. He's hitting like the very end of the strikes. Maybe he could be baiting him in, man. You know. But uh, Harper's very composed, man, and, he, and he's looking. It looks like he's looking to line up like a cross or a head kick on that power side, man, down the middle. I really like seeing these young guys use their heads in here, man. Start putting it together, you know? Makes for some good uh, exchanges. <laughs> well, these guys, Jonathan Harper, especially making his debut here. Yeah. Fight debut here in a, amongst a big crowd under the bright lights. Yeah, that's a, that's a tough hill to run up, man. Harper working that jab, scoring inside. Garcia hasn't quite found his marker balance quite yet. Yeah, he's, like his, his posture moves in a direction he's, he's moving, so it's like scenarios like that happen. But there he is with a head kick. <laughs> and a teep to the wow. chin. Wow. Okay. It's almost like Garcia looks like he wants to reach out and clinch, but, he, yeah. but, but he's, you know. There's right, here's the chin strap again on the head gear. I don't think he's comfortable throwing more than like a couple shots before he feels like maybe he's in danger. Or, but that, that, we got a wardrobe malfunction. They got to fix that. You know, I've seen fights disqualified because of uh, equipment. Yeah. They're asking to run tape around the top of the head gear. Yeah, they got to fix that. Looks like it's a little bit too small. Yeah, young guys, new guys, old guys, I don't care what kind of guys. Make sure your headgear fits, baby. All the time. <laughs> if you got a headgear on, make sure that thing fits. It's literally a bucket for your brain, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and we see crew Rob McIver. Yeah, nice. Strapping on that headgear. Now, Crew Rod has to dookie house with his poor kid's head. <laughs> All right, let's hope this headgear stays on. The action resumes. Okay. A nice cat. I don't know if that was legal, but it was <laughs> nice. Oh, he hurt him. He hurt him with that. Look at him. He hurt that leg, boy. Wow, three leg kicks in a row has turned him. Oh, man.
David Huey here alongside the urban legend Chris Coley. Chris, why well, have a moment here? How did you get that name, Urban Legend? Oh, man. If I tell it, I'm probably going to get in trouble again. But uh, <laughs> when I was a kid, man, uh, doing martial arts, I used to use my older brother's ID to jump into smokers. And then when they found out that I was only like 13, 14, man, it was some serious trouble. But yeah, for a long time, uh, the Urban Legend from Barstow was a 14-year-old kid beating up grown man at Crew Rex's smokers. <laughs> <laughs> and it stuck, man. That's how, I, that's how I got in the game, baby. All right, you heard it from the urban legend himself. As we go into the second round, Jonathan Garcia out of the red corner. Jonathan Harper out of the blue corner. Luis Cobian. Rest in power. In the center of the ring. Rest in power, Crew Rex, man. A lot of us got our career started right there. Nice. <laughs> nice team. And that leg looks hurt. Jonathan yeah. Harper's leg looks a little bit hurt. He's countering well with that cross and then that stiff jab. But this kid, is he woke up in between the, the headgear malfunction. Garcia should just go back to that leg. Yeah, you got to figure out how to get to that leg. Just like that. Yeah. Figure mm -hmm. out how to get to it. There you go. It's leg kick again. Long knock and walk home, baby. You can't check kicks. For the love of God, guys, check your kicks. <laughs> Please. Please, guys. He'd have more success if he used his hands to set that thing up, man. Instead of throwing it blind. Yeah, that leg is hurt, baby. I'd run to that leg with both shoes, man. See what we got going on here. Alone the action. I'm quite not following what's happening. I don't know what's going on either. I thought it was the headgear, maybe, and then now we're. Oh no, it's a shin pad adjustment. Ah, oh, probably with the tape and the sweat all hard to fix. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a shin pad adjustment. If his coach was smart, I would have moved that pad to the calf. <laughs> 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 Yeah, guys, fights like this is why, like, film study is important, uh, a la Andy Hug, you know? That leg is hurt, man. If you guys don't know the legendary Andy Hug? Google him. Yeah. YouTube. Fighter. Axe kick, spin back kick. Just real Andy life Hook cowboy kick. samurai, right? <laughs> That's old school. And the second round comes to a close. Uh, you know, there's been so many lulls in the action, uh, yeah. stopping by the headgear or equipment. It's kind of hard to pace this fight, but who do you see on this one? I call it even. I call it even. Even with the lulls, I think, uh, I think that those late kicks really hurt him. Really hurt Harper bad, man. I think that he capitalized and took the round with him. But that first round was all Harper. I think it comes down to this tonight. And if Miguel Mock... Mogdesi and and, and uh, Jason, Park. Jason are in your corner, bro. You, you, you're gonna tell you to get to work. You know, Jason Park and Mogdesi in your corner. I'm gonna tell you right here, man. It's time to get to work. Check that kick. Garcia right, can pull this away. This the third and final round. It could come down to this round. Who wants it more? Jonathan Garcia out of Team Victory Muay yeah. Thai. Taking on Jonathan Harper from Black House. Harper smart. And Harper letting those hands go. Yeah, why, why is he checking that? Mm. Garcia going and attacking those legs. That's surprising for me coming out of Black House. He's not checking that kick. You got guys like Mekon Mendonca and Miguel Magdesi who you don't get a lot of kicks off on him. But he's fighting.
Did he turn his back? Oh, sh wardrobe malfunction. It's like that Super Bowl with Janet and Timberlake, man. <laughs> <laughs> Get it together, baby. Got a show to do. <laughs> That hair, that the tape and the headgear for sure could be a meme, guys. This is a screenshotable moment. <laughs> <laughs> How's Monday going? Just right. <laughs> yeah, man. This is a battle of attrition we have here. And wardrobe. All right, There's let's see if we can get through this fight. There we go. He's nice lifting punches, it and, yeah. and using the broken weapon, which is something you know. Oh, and you. sidekick for sidekick. We are having a Bruce Lee-like fight here, guys. <laughs> Jeet Kune Do is alive and well. <laughs> yeah, Har uh, Garcia's going to look back on his fight and, and yell, I should have threw more leg kicks. <laughs> it's there, baby, but he's going for it. He's digging for it. I like that. Because this is Harper's fight to lose if he doesn't turn this around in the next 18 seconds, baby. Why is he not going on that leg? Go now. Yes, please. There he goes, that leg kick. Go back to it. Now, now, now. Final 10 seconds. Oh, he walked him into the corner. Smart. His Garcia turning it on for the final seconds. There that you go. Is it. Yeah. And that's you how know. you want to fight, man. I think, Gar I think, uh, yeah, I think Garcia might have pulled that one out the mud, baby. He might have. What an interesting fight. I mean, the pacing was very difficult because of the equipment adjustments in this fight. Yeah. But we see, wow, deep right to the throat. Push kick to the throat. <laughs> These guys were going for the money. <laughs> they, just, they just were hitting each other like clacking knees and head butting, you know. The stuff you see in this development, man. And <laughs> side kick to the sternum. Beautiful. A la Tekken. I love that. Uh, but yeah, man, this is a good fight still, all in all, with the lulls and the action. Um, but yeah, you know, take this fight home, back to the Sean board. Take the good, work the bad. You got yourself six minutes of solid kickboxing, man. Absolutely. You know, in a, in a show like this, Fighters Rep, where. The broadcast, the camera work is all top notch. You can take a lot away from this fight. Oh yeah. If you can perform under the lights at any level, man, that's a that's a coach's dream. If you have issues under these lights, man, that's a coach's nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Well still to come. We have Steven Hernandez. From King Cobra taking on Brian Lopez from Black House. Oh, lot, man. A lot of fighters from Black House tonight. A lot of fighters from Black House tonight. We got a, got some cool matchups, man. I feel like I'm watching Karate Kid. King oh. Cobra versus Black House. <laughs> Where am I? I love it. Let's make this one official. After three hard inning rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for their decision. Judge number one scored about 30-27 for the red corner. All right. Judge number two scored about 29-28 for the blue corner. See? While judge number three scored about 29-28 for your winner by split decision from the red corner. Yeah. That's the luck of the draw, baby. Like I was saying earlier, you can't let the fight happen. You know, especially when you're up because that guy might hear the music and have his moment, man, and cut your, <laughs> and hurt your record. And if you don't have nothing to take, man, you can, it's your fight to lose, you know? But good showing for both guys, man. Black House is producing some talent, and this guy battled up a hill for some victory. I like to, love to see it. Love to see it. And Jonathan Garcia with those chopping leg kicks. Could have possibly stole the show with that technique. Improves to one and one by Jonathan Harper. Still looking for his first win against one Yeah, man. Good 
take this fight home and learn a lot from it, you know? And that's not a bad place to be as an amateur, you know? You got the footage, and it's HD 1040. <laughs> you can watch everything. All Congrats, right, Jonathan Garcia, Garcia, 38 years old. Jonathan. Yeah, man. Great, great fight. It was right with your uh, fans and supporters here in the corner cheering you on. Wow, look at that. How did you feel the fight went for you? More to live. I felt really happy. There you go, there you go. Now, uh, Jonathan Harper hit you with some really hard shots, but you kept going forward. At any time, did you feel that you were in any danger? In the moment, I was just seeing what he had, I was just waiting to see an opening, and I was taking my time until I saw it, I kept attacking. There you go, there you go. Great precision in that. Now, you do have a lot of friends, family, and fans here at the Lions Den. Do you have any words you want to tell them for their support? Quiero darle las gracias a mi coach, a mi team, a mi familia, a mi esposa, a mis hijos y a todos mis amigos que están aquí. I want to say thank you to my coaches, my teammates, my wife, my kids, and all my supporters, my friends that are here. And thank you, Jonathan Garcia. Congratulations once again. Thank you very much, brother. What a fight, man. What a way to dig out that hole, baby. That was some... <laughs> Oh, absolutely. James Acosta translating for Jan Jonathan Garcia as he comes out victorious at 38 years old. Congratulations, Jonathan Garcia.